a quick update on the Waterman aeroplane. As you can see, the fuselage is sheeted. It's not the best sheeting, but it's going to be covered, so and I still haven't fully sanded it yet. But the uh, fuselage is sheeted. Kind of a strange looking fuselage. Looks more like something should hang from the Hindenburg than anything else. But uh, yeah, there it is right there. Still have to do some sanding. So main gear on, we'll put a nose gear on. As you can see, I think we're gonna do this style nose gear, whoops, right there. Judging by the interior size, you could easily put a uh, small E-Flight Outrunner motor in there. This could easily be made into RC without a great deal of difficulty. Although you can see, if you look very carefully, uh, right where that little pinhole is, that is actually where the prop is going to sit. So you can see it sits a little higher than the fuselage. Uh, so it would probably be a little difficult, but you know, I mean, you probably get it to work. So, uh, but there is a motor block that sits. Let me show it to you right here. So you can see, this is where the prop goes. I suppose you could put a, a, a small E-Flight Outrunner right in there. But uh, once I'm done sheeting this, I'll go ahead and I'll start working on the wing. And there's our wing right there, very straightforward. Nothing more than a simple flying wing, as you can see. And I found this wonderful prop here in Park Zone. It's for their Ultra Micro J3, and it is the exact same size, and it even comes with a little itty bitty spinner. It's the exact same size as the scale propeller shown here on the plans. So it's fantastic. All right, more to come.